thumbs up for the go getters. The ambitionless appear station, no better, no better. We owe. What? Ready for your most cool, otherwise known as Mr. Cubano. Yeah, Cubano, what's up, bro? What's good? Your number one fan here. There goes the win, bro. Love you. Hello everyone, my name is Epsecure, otherwise known as Mr. Cabano, and today we're got the Grillo Silencer on the map, cracked on Black Ops, and you guys are probably like thinking like, whoa, Black Ops, that's like, you know, in Call of Duty terms, that's like 10 decades ago, you know? But you know what? I was feeling Call of Duty mojo today. So, I was like, let's play some Call of Duty, you know, let's just do it. And so, uh, you know, I just started playing Call of Duty, and uh, and I got, I got really pretty much pissed off and wanted to snap my nest disc and throw it out the window when I was playing MW3. So I was just like, you know what, let's take a break and uh, let's go back to some good old MW, uh, actually no, that was a fail. Let's go back to good old Call of Duty Black Ops by Treyarch, because I like Treyarch. I like you, JD2020. White Boy 7 Street hates you, but I love you. I want to suck your cock and go yummy, yummy, yummy on your balls. Anyways, <clears throat> because before this commentary goes totally homo, I kind of want to talk about something uh, it's it's definitely not portraying any video games or anything that I actually speak of. This commentary is going to be different because it kind of hit me and it, it pissed me off a lot. So I just want to share with you guys and uh, see what you guys have in your thoughts and opinions and uh, if you guys have ever been in an experience like this as well. So let's get started. So there's a uh, chat. Well, first of all, me and my girlfriend are very close, you know. We, uh, we kiss a lot in school, and you know, we're very touchy, close people, but we've never done anything sexual, never. We haven't, pa we haven't done anything past making out. So anyways, when we haven't done anything sexual, and we both know we haven't done anything sexual, I get a Facebook chat uh, yesterday afternoon to find out that someone is there spreading a rumor because, uh, spreading a rumor that me and my girlfriend have had sex. Now, which is totally not true. I want you, everyone, to realize that it's not happened. It's not true, and and then let's just put that let's put that in plain black and white. And uh, so we haven't had done anything sexual. We haven't had sex. That's a for sure. For sure, I don't want to either. I'm too young, anyways. So, and I was thinking, like, what? Who in the world could possibly have a motive to do such a thing like this? You know, because. When you get older, you know you're doing something bad by spreading a rumor. So you have to have a very, very well-written, plain, right out in there in the plain white motive to do such a thing. So I was thinking back. And I was explaining how I didn't like this one girl named Jennifer. Now this video is probably going to make a lot of controversy, but who gives a shit? Because I'm just playing out there what's really happening. So I don't want any speculation or nothing like that. So anyways, you know, I was saying how I didn't, I didn't hate her. I just don't like her. I just dislike her. Just, you know, she doesn't, she's not my type of people to be friends with. So, you know, I, and I think that kid that I told that to told her and that gave her the motive to spread this rumor. Now, this is just an, uh, I'm just I'm accusing her. I'm not saying it's true. I'm accusing her of this because that's the only person I can think that has a motive. Now, the person that contacted me saying, is it true, said that there was, they were hearing someone in the hallway when they were walking. They were hearing someone saying that we've had sex, which is, again, not happened, not true. And how people come out of their way because they get their feelings upset or hurt because of the honest truth they have to start and rile up this controversy you know otherwise known as a rumor and I don't understand that part of it I don't know about you guys but I've never made up a rumor I don't insist to because when people find out the rumor isn't true it makes you look like a total idiot and a dumbass to everyone and so, oops, my f controller is vibrating. Oh my god, my vibrator dildo is going off on my controller. Uh, anyways, so what I don't get is why in the world would you start a rumor because your feelings were upset? You know, that just shows your character is like, that just shows you that you want everyone to be, 
your way. Oh my God! You have everyone has to love me. Meow meow meow. I don't give a two hickers of shit if I if you need everyone to love you or not. Because <laughs> I can guarantee you, ninety nine point nine percent sure if you're that kind of person that says everyone loves me, I'm that point oh one percent that doesn't like you. Because it's true. I just don't like those kind of people. And so, when those people find out I don't like them, they have to do everything in their power. To make me look like the bad guy. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm going with this, right? So, when I have 220, 229 subscribers listening to this, and I'm speaking out the honest truth, and you have four friends, four, two, three real friends that actually think that what you're saying is true, I'm pretty sure I'm the one that's winning right now. And I'm not intending to say that, oh, I'm using my subscribers for evil, ha 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 bullshit, nah. No, I'm just here to state the facts to the people that are actually my good friends. You know, I got Little Bird, Gianni, Ryan, I met this new guy named Justin. You know, these are the good friends of mine. And these are the people that are going to be like, you know what, you're right. That is that girl is one hell of a bitch to do that to you. Now, I'm insulting her? Yes. Why? Because I have good reason to and have suspicion of her starting this rumor due to the motive I gave her. Now, I hope you guys understand this entire recap of the commentary is the point is that there is a rumor going on due to something I said. Now, that is my fault for saying it. I won't lie. But when someone's feelings are hurt and it's if you, they feel injustice, they have to start a rumor, which I don't understand. You know how many times I've gotten my feelings hurt? You know what I do? Eh, what the hell? Forget about it. You know? I, I don't care. I really don't care what people think of me. But this girl goes to the point of where everyone has to like her. So, and when do, when someone doesn't like her... She does everything that she can to make that person look like a bad guy and her like a princess or something, you know, which is total bullshit in my perspective. Now, could she be, could the person do, could it be another person that started the room? Can be. But right now on my list of people that have done it, it's her. It's only her. And... I just feel like, what is the point of making a rumor? You know, and what she doesn't understand is that I'm going to have my subscribers listening to this video right now. I'm sure you guys will be 100% behind my back because you guys are amazing. That is why I want you guys to know that everything I'm right now saying is 100% true. None of it's a lie. None of, none of it is a false accusation or anything like that i'm accusing the person due to the evidence i know and the motive i've been given and i've seen and i've su suspected that this is the girl that's been doing this to me and i think it's totally wrong to start rumors about people just because someone said they are honest truth about truth about you you know it kind of pisses me off a little bit so I want you guys to leave creative comments down below and thinking what you guys think of this entire commentary and what you think of this girl. But other than that, guys, I'm Upset Cuban, otherwise known as Mr. Caban, and I'll see you guys later. Deuces.